This morning I'm going to share an article with you that has been helpful for me as I discern what it is to partake of the body of Christ, to take of this bread and of this cup. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet appeared. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. That's 1 John chapter 3, verses 2 and 3. In his dealings with us, God has a great goal. It is not merely to rescue us, but to reform us. For all who will accept his plan, God intends to repair the damage sin has done to our character and make us into something or into nothing less than perfect reproductions of his gloriously perfect Son. Those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Romans 8, verse 29. Making this possible is why Christ died for us. Whatever secondary or intermediate blessings may be involved, we ought never to lose sight of what God is really after, our likeness to Jesus Christ, his Son. We see this in the life choices of Paul, he wanted to be like Christ in everything, even in suffering, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, that by any means, necess- any means possible I may attain the resurrection from the dead. From Philippians chapter 3, verses 10 and 11. <clears throat> Today, we would do well to ponder the advice of the 18th century Anglican William Law who said, From morning to night, keep Jesus in your heart. Long for nothing, desire nothing, hope for nothing, but to have all that is within you changed into the spirit and temper of the Holy Jesus. If this is not a driving force within us, we are settling for something less than the gospel of Christ. To the Christians in Corinth, Paul wrote, We all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 18. Far more comfortable circumstances or emotional inspiration to be conformed to the virtues of Christ's character is what we want at any cost. And not only is this our highest hope, it must be the goal we pursue more actively and energetically than any other. And what did John say from our beginning text? Everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. O oh, to be like thee, blessed Redeemer, this is my constant longing and prayer. Gladly I'll forfeit all of earth's treasures, Jesus, the perfect likeness to wear. As we partake this morning, let us think what it means in our lives that Christ died for us, what his sacrifice means for us, and what it means for us to have obeyed the gospel. It is to be like Christ, to put on Christ, and to change our lives in, the, in, in a like manner as he is. So let us dwell on these things as we partake.